Good readings on my little subs and subs to be. I am Master Dominic, and it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you back to Skylander's Sprouse Adventure Part 22, what will be the grand finale. Are you ready to take on the evil chaos and rid Skylands of him once and for all? Yes. Splendid! Now I'll just use the core to send you there. Hmm. Let's see. I simply punch in a few coordinates here and... Oh, I'm in a magic bubble. Well, I guess the core works pretty fast. I sure wish we could go with the Skylander. Then we could all take down Chaos together. I agree, Callie, but I think this is something our hero must do alone. Something they must do alone, but with backup of uh, 30 others. You have arrived at the moment of truth, Portal Master. Only you can defeat Chaos and rid his evil from Skylands once and for all. But beware, Chaos's elemental servants lurk throughout. Chapter 22, Lair of Chaos. Go forth and find the entrance to Chaos's castle. It is there you will meet your destiny. Good luck, Portal Master. Skylanders of the Fire Element are stronger reserve. Oh yeah, come on. Going crazy right off the bat, huh? Come on, throw those fire enemies at me. I'll burn them all up. God, this place looks crazy. Forgot how all out they went with the insanity for this level. Didn't know better. I would think this whole place was alive or something. Mad at me. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna have to seriously watch my back here. It's very likely I'm going to lose many a Skylander as I try to go through this. So I'm gonna have to really, really keep on keep on my guard. Oh gee. Oh. Some of these little blade dudes from the first few levels. Okay. Skylanders of the magic element are strong in this zone. Oh, right. This is a uh, choice puzzle. You either take the food or you take the gems. Whichever one you choose will open this gate, but it'll lock the other one. So, I'm going to choose gems. Because Wrecking Ball is okay right now. Doesn't need anything. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. I forgot those things, like came down and beat the crap out of you. Okay, nothing over there. There's a magic gate here. So, oh, oh, why can't I move? Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Back! Back, you annoying little critters. Alternate ends? Okay. I saw a turkey leg over the other way. I'll have to... Oh, jeez. I'll have to go get that in a moment, because... Wrecking Ball needs the food. Okay, so it's like every single pathway here is supposed to be like bifurcated, so I have to keep on choosing which way I'm gonna go. Wabbit ears. That's cool. All hats found. There's only the one hat in this level? Okay. Okay. Lots of spikes. Oh, I got Jack. Oh, hey, treasure chest. Yay! All the loot. Gonna get all the upgrades. Oh, and as of time of recording this, and I'm very surprised to say this, I have shelved 
none of my Series 1 Skylanders. Even though I was sure by the time I got to the final level. And I even played the DLC levels just to see if it would help. I was sure that I would have to shelf at least one Skylander. But I, I haven't had to shelf any of them. I've been able to use every single Skylander continuously and have not gotten full level and upgrades for any of them yet. I do have some to level 10, and I do have some approaching, like, full upgrades, but I have none that have both, which just surprises me no end. Okay, now we gotta take on this big old magma dude. Like a Ruptor's pissed off dad. Oh, crap. Oh, I hate those, I hate those, I hate those, I hate those. Boom! Speedball punk. Sonic smash you. Aha! That worked. Okay, we got... Oh, the soul gem is on the left. And we got food on the right. So I'm gonna go with soul gem. Oh, and it's the gem for double trouble. The water walker ability. Huh, I wonder if that makes it so he actually can walk on water, because that'd be pretty cool. Because usually, you gotta be like a special kind of Skylander to do that. Either an air type or a water type. Or a, you know, just a dragon type that can fly. Oh, story scroll! Some say Chaos was born a prince. But after years of suffering insults about his ugly looks and bad smells, he kicked his father in the Widdershins, gave away his royal name, and headed out into the wilderness, along with his faithful and equally ugly butler, Glumshanks. Aww. Okay, we got food on the left, and we got gems on the right. Speedball! Oh, jeez. This magical tripwire thing can actually hit me. Oh, crap. I can just completely knock myself back a few areas, didn't I? There we go. Okay, gonna go with the gym. Oh, hey! I can hit them through these bars. But they can't hit me, so I gotta send them with imps. Oh, dang it, they knocked me into the thing to open the gate. Come on, come on. You can do it, Wrecking Ball. Yeah! Yeah, that level burst. Oh, oh, praise for the level burst. Okay. Oh, now this is a tough one. We got the legendary treasure on the right and a treasure chest on the left. Let me just check something real quick. Okay, I looked. I don't have all the other legendary treasures. If I did, I would get that legendary treasure to get the full set and get the XP boost. But since I don't, it's better to get the ch this chest. So that way I can get the money. And I'll have to come back for the legendary treasure in, like, probably one of the videos that I do later on where I try to go back and just get all the stuff that I missed. Skylanders of the fire element are strong this stuff. Oh geez, we got knights. Yes, we, we got the knights. Oh I wish Sunburn could fly. Not yet have Sunburn's flight ability. Oh crap, I remember this part. Oh, where are these magma punks coming from? Oh, they get food. That's cool. Okay. Roast them. Come on. Come on. Stupid knights and stupid giant eruptor. Got him. Pick up the knights. Got 
one. Oh. And so it begins. Sunburn is the first casualty of the final level. I don't know if I'll actually be able to bring him back when I get to the boss stage of this level. Skylanders of the Earth element are stronger. But we'll see. Skylanders of the Fire element are stronger in this zone. Now the trick to this part is that you actually have to run all the way across that platform and stand here and wait for it to actually move to the secondary location for you to continue on. The first time I did this was with my friend Hannah. We were playing two-player. We could not figure this out, and we lost so many Skylanders to this stupid trap. And we had to look up a walkthrough. And it just showed the person standing here forever and that the platform actually moved. Okay, I think it's almost there. When the background stops changing, they, you know you're there. And you still see crap moving around. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Man, Chaos can come up with some very, very mean crap. Come on! You only got nothing on my shields. My shield boomerang attack. Dang! Got a level burst from taking out one of them and it took out all the rest of them. <laughs> that is how we do it. Now we gotta go through this boring ride again. Why do I get slowed down during that part? That's ridiculous. Drinking water while I play this. Ugh, God, because if I did not drink anything when I did my recordings, my throat would be so raw by the end. And it gets messed up anyway when I do, like, horror games, because I just scream so much. Man, I wish there were active co camera controls in this game. Is there a Skylander game with active camera controls yet? I... I actually don't th think there is. Because as far as I can remember, they all have, like, the set camera. It's just that they improve the camera mechanics as it goes. Skylanders of the magic elements are stronger in this zone. Need to be wrecking ball back on deck. Oh, no, wait. You gotta be standing in front of this one for it to work, right? Oh god, I hate this puzzle. Because it's just long, boring, and a pain. God, I already have over 2,500 coin for Wrecking Ball. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Now, see, this is gonna be a problem. Come on, come on. Cut through them all, Wrecking Ball. Eat them all. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, level burst. Come on, take them out. Yeah. Level up. Two levels right there. Wrecking Ball like a boss. My cheat. All chests found. Got all the loot. Okay. Now I gotta head back, and now they got all three keys I can get through that door. And I think after that door, it's just a few more enemies, and then I can take on Chaos. Which is just going to be me endlessly losing Skylanders. Oh god, that is going to be a nightmare. Hmm. 
Wrecking Ball looks so cute when he's walking. Look at him. He like squishes with every step. Squish, 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 squish. <laughs> oh, and when he stands in place, he bounces. Oh, it's so cute. Now we got Eruptor. All right. And triple keys into the door. Come on. There it goes. All right. Oh, we got a mad or not a magic punk, a tech punk. Those stupid satellite blasters. Take him out. Come on. Down he goes. All the levels. Come on. Come on. Blade witch and another tech punk. Yeah. Level up. All right, we're doing good here. Okay, this is the this is like the end part of this part. We've got to keep on running through the enemies and try to get rid of them, so that way the gate will open and I can get the chaos. Boom! Take my magma bar. I know you want all my magma. There we go. Drown you in fire. Next. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? A couple of knights. Ha! Their AI is programmed to just keep following me. So if I just keep on doing magma bars and moving away, it'll just keep on hitting them. Of course, that doesn't help if they can actually get within range of me. Which they surprisingly can. They're surprisingly fast. For annoying to suit of armor. Come on. Give me that level. Give me the level. Crap. Okay, well this will be easy. I can just drown these guys in magma. The drowning magma. There's my level. Okay, now I gotta face a knight and a magma king. But a Riptor will not be defeated by the Magma King. He shall be the Magma King. And then the Knight. Nighty Knight. <laughs> okay, I'm getting lots of Skylanders to level 10 now. Go forth and find the entrance to Chaos's castle. It is there you will meet your destiny. Good luck, Portal Master. Didn't he already say that? Into Chaos's castle. Yeah, so the only thing I missed was the legendary treasure. Now for the final battle. His whole house turns upside down to be a battlefield. Anybody else think that's crazy? What happens to all his stuff? Does it just get flipped over or does he have it all like nailed down? short stuff. Okay, he's gonna summon the uh, uh, evil Skylanders that I fought earlier. So I just gotta take them off. 
again. Win. But come on. Took out evil Slam Bam. Oh, he summoned evil Eruptor. Oh, and he's using my tactic. You dick. Oh! You freaking copycat! Quit ripping off my move! Come on, I'm about to pop you! Yeah! Give me that XP! I don't even need it at this point. I am just kicking your butt for fun. Oh man, it's evil Zook! Oh man, he put up his uh, Shroom Shield. Come on. Another evil Zook. Or, well, the same one, because you can tell by the health bar. Still. Oh, oh. Good news, I was able to bring Sunburn back. But Eruptor is officially out. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, come on. Take him out. Yeah. XP. Mine. Gimme. Chicken. Okay, so Ruptor is officially out. I'm down to 32 Skylanders. Plus Trigger Snappy. Come on, bring it on, Evil Zook. Okay, I gotta keep moving, apparently. I didn't realize that his, uh, his missiles had, like, some kind of fragmentation thing going for him. And, oh! He, he can summon up more than one of those shroom shields at once. Come on. Yeah. Took him out. Three up, three down. I have to laugh. <laughs> I have to, because even though you somehow managed to not get squashed, you now face the most hideous and powerful of all my minions! Did your mom? Okay, magic chessboard's flying in the air. Meet the same minion who destroyed the core of light and will do so again. Meet the beast that sent Eon to his well-deserved bodiless oblivion. Meet my Hydra! <sighs> I want one. <laughs> Anybody else think that looks cool as shit? Oh yeah, whichever head is currently active, that is the spell from the earlier level that is going to be running. So, oh crap. So right now, fire head, so I'm getting the spell that was active in the lava lake. Oh god, it's doing the water one. It's the sharks. He's summoning up the sharks of doom. Screw you and your Sharks of Doom, Chaos! Okay, come on, come on. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. See, oh! If I can quick dodge him, I get a little health boost. But if they hit me, I take, like, way more damage. Come on. Got his fire spell going again. I can dodge it this time, though. Ugh. Man, Chaos has so much health. I barely put a dent in him at this point. Undead. What does Undead do? Oh, Undead was the magic lasers. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Crap. Okay, got the fire one. Okay, it's different this time. It's different. I don't like that. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to take full responsibility for my stupidity on that one. That was totally my fault that I just lost uh, Sunburn. Stood right there in the middle and let all those fire orbs just fry me. Okay. 
Okay, we got the life one. That one is like the easiest out of all these to beat. Because it can... Come on! So if I trigger the red thing, it'll pop all those explosives early. So I don't gotta deal with their crap. Come on, Chaos! Damn! Oh god, here come the sharks again. Okay, it looks like Dino Rings, uh, Shield Rings actually deal a lot more damage than just his regular attack ring. So that's what I'll keep using. God dang! Dodging sharks like a boss this time! Oh crap, fire one. Can't be careful. Okay, it's that one. And they just spin around the circle. Ah! Chaos, hold still so I can kill you. I wish you could shoot him when he was in the air, but I don't think any of them, any Skylander has an ability that can reach that high. Come on. Keep on hitting. Keep on hitting. Oh gee. I'm steadily whittling his health away. It's gonna take me forever, but I'm gonna win. As long as the life head keeps active, that'll be the easiest. Oh, good. Hmm, interesting. It seems you are more skillful than Eon after all. Perhaps there is something special inside you. And I think I'll just have my brawlers bash it out of you, so I can get a better look at it. Ah! Okay, so he's gonna summon up... Stump Smash! Slam Bam! And... nobody else? Ah! Stump Smash just got it, uh, cut down. And Slam Bam got bashed. I absorb all their XP. Come on, Chaos, you little punk. I wonder if the last one was supposed to be a rough one, and since I already beat him, he's not gonna come out. Nope! Nope, I was wrong! I was wrong! I was wrong! Very wrong! What is happening? I'm taking health and I am healing at the same time. Taking damage and healing. My bad. Fools! I've had it up to here with your incompetence. Actually, no. Even higher. Up to here! Besides, I have three more minions who are much more deserving of this privilege. Stealth Elf Zap and Ghost Roaster. He's trying his own minions in order to give them the XP, so they're even tougher. Oh, jeez. Come on. We got Stealth Elf, we got Zap. Come on. I wonder why the third one doesn't spawn. Okay, took out Stealth Elf. Took out Zap. Ha! The level burst took out Zap. Nom the cheese. Nom the cheese. And taking out Chaos. The more Dan- it looks like now that it's getting farther in, he has less health. Minions! What is wrong with all of you? All you have to do is defeat one measly apprentice. Ah, never mind. I have three minions more. That should do the trick. Chop Chop Zook and Sunburn. I wonder if the health of his evil Skylanders gets taken out of his health. Because that would be- oh, jeez. That would make sense considering how much damage he's taken. 
Oh man, I gotta keep moving. With these guys, if I hold still, they, they're gonna wreck me. Oh god, and he's doing this move. The one where I have to hold still in order to survive. Or, well, hold still in a relative area, I guess. Come on, come on, take him out, take him out, take him out. Kill something, kill something! Uh, oh. I was one hit away from taking out Zook when he took out Dino Rang. If I could have gotten that, Dino Rang might have been able to level or get some health or something. Okay, I got Stealth Elf on deck now. Boom! Right in your face, annoying frick. Okay. Gotta take out Chop Chop next. Okay, going. Yes, I got him. I wanted to get Chop Chop next because he has the lowest health between the two. Chaos is like almost halfway dead. Trigger snappy! Come on, take. Come on, kill Sunburn. Kill Sunburn. And. Yes! That's all three. Give me all that XP. All mine. Slinger and Gilgrunt. And he's right, they're all the ones that have range attacks. I'm gonna have to be super careful. Oh, crap! Double crap! Oh god, this is just a shooting gallery and I'm the only target. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare and I cannot wake up. Oh. Holy crap. I am getting wrecked so hard. I like this level much better when, it's, when you play two player. Come on. Keep on hitting them. And Whamshell's probably gonna die. But I'm, doing, I'm dealing damage. Oh, if I take out Gilgrunt, yes! Okay, so got some XP, maybe some food. Oh, crap. Dropped right on my head. Come on. We got Flame Slinger and Hex are the only ones left. I'm dealing damage to both of them, plus Chaos. Oh, crap. Okay, got Whirlwind. Yeah! Whirlwind's rainbow eggs seem to deal heavy damage. Especially since I got the upgrade that makes it so I shoot two of them at once. Yeah, got him! No. Is all free XP right there, all for me. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give 
Oh jeez. Alright, just gonna take the hits, gonna close in on him, and just start wailing on him. Oh jeez, multiple spells are activating at once. Didn't even notice that. Okay. I have to do my best to try and trigger all the different spells together. Keep them off my back. Oh, come on, change. Change the spell. Oh, dang it. Of course, it changes right at the very tail end of it. Right when I get hit. Chaos, you little bitch. Land so I can hit you. Uh, I can't shoot him whenever he's up in the air. I gotta wait for him to land. Okay. He's down. So I can hit him. I'm just gonna sit here, take the hit, and wail on him. Come on. Come on, shoot storm clouds at him. I'm sh oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, Warwind, you can do it. You can do it, Warwind. I believe in you. Gee, she only has 12 hit points left. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh. I knew the moment that spell activated, that was gonna be it for me. Oh crap. Oh great, more sharks. I'm gonna sit here and wail on him again. I'm just spamming the attack button as sharks go by me and give me health and damage me at the same time. Just trying to deal as much damage as I can before he takes out those sharks. Because I know there's no way I'll survive. Come on, Wrecking Ball. At least Wrecking Ball has some range. But I'm going to be right up next to him in order to hit him. But it helps. Okay, come on. What the heck? I wasn't it hitting any of them. Clearly Wrecking Ball was a poor choice for this level. Cinder's Dark Lightning should hit Chaos pretty hard. Okay, if I stay up in this corner, I should be safe from the ghost beams for a little while. And he's doing another fire thing. Come on! Get through him, and then hit him with the dark lightning, and teleport through, and dark lightning, and teleport through, and more dark lightning, and why won't you die already? Man, he has so much health! Why does he have so much health? Oh, God. At least Cinder's Dark Lightning attack has, like, some epic range on it. Avoid the ghost beams. God, more fire! Why is there all this fire? 
We are not in hell. There should be not there should not be this much fire. Now the undead has taken control. And teleport through and lightning. And teleport through and lightning. Come on, teleport through and lightning. And lightning spin to clear out all the stupid exploder things in the life spell. Oh god. Come on. Ah! He keeps flying away. He would just stay down for a couple minutes. Come on, Chaos, you little punk. I'm getting better at avoiding the spells, but my health is still getting whittled down gradually. And so far, Cinder's been doing the best out of all of them at dealing with all this crap and surviving. Oh jeez, he's doing the bottleneck thing. Okay, if I just stay in one... Oh, jeez. Never mind, I was gonna say, maybe if I stay in one place, I should be able to survive. That was a lie. Okay, put more ghosts on him. Ghosts, and lightning, and ghosts. And lightning, and ghosts, and lightning. Come on, come on, take him out already. Can't survive for that much longer. Come on. Come on. Damn. I'm, ge I'm getting there. But good God, if he doesn't have a lot of health. And light him up. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Man, Cinder's in the danger zone now. And more freaking sharks. I hate sharks. Give me some food already so I can heal. Stop sending sharks my way. That's just me. Okay. Corner. Next time he lands, I may be able to finish him. Take him out. Oh no. Just flew into a big old wave of sharks. Yep, Cinder's going down. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Come on, do it. Oh my god. Man, you don't mess around. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Alright, got legendary trigger happy back in me now. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, you've just gotta survive until the next one. If chaos with trigger happy range being practically infinite, if ca oh crap. If Chaos drops again, I can use Trigger Happy's Gatling Gun attack. And that should... Oh, crap. Oh, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Trigger Happy's Gatling Gun attack should take him out. I hope. Damn! Come on, Bash, finish him off. You're one of my heaviest hitters. Oh, 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 oh! Did, did I do it? You think this is over? Ha! You think wrong! In fact, I 
think you think that I think that I cannot win? I assure you, I can! There will come another day. Oh, not now, maybe, but soon. And we will meet again. And on that day, I, Turtles, will introduce you to your sweet, sweet oblivion! <laughs> My giant pudding head. <laughs> Fools! Release me at once or face your unimaginable doom! Do you really think this cheap magic trick can hold me? Chaos! Ow! Oh, hey! Hey! Cool your jet, small fry. We've heard enough out of you. Finally, something we agree on. You know. You're okay when you're not putting your foot in your mouth. Back at you. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna barf now. Eon? I know you're here somewhere. You and your apprentice portal master. Go ahead! Send me back to the Outlands. It won't do any good. I'll just keep coming back again and again and again until Skyland is mine! Actually, Chaos, you're not going to the Outlands this time. Uh, what? I have something more fitting in mind for you. Hugo, would you please? Me? Oh, thank you, Master Eon. You're gonna love this. <laughs> we made a few upgrades. Okay, look. Let me go and we'll split this place. 70-30. What do you say? Okay, how about 60-40? 50-50? Okay. Uh-oh. You haven't seen the last... Now that's fast. Whoa! Hey, what the? Everything's getting bigger. Wait, I'm getting smaller. What? Where? Where am I? Oh, what's that smell? <laughs> you have done well, Portal Master. We may have seen the last of Chaos and the Darkness, but there is more to do. The journey with your Skylanders is only just beginning. Skylanders, Spyro's Adventure. Oh my god. Whew, that took a while. But man, was that worth it. That was so much fun. So in case anybody doesn't remember how the game actually started and what all just happened, they used the core of light to send Chaos to Earth, just like what happened with the Skylanders. So he ended up being shrunk and turn into a little figurine just like them unfortunately they never actually made a chaos figurine that you could play with which would have been cool they didn't actually make it so you could play as chaos until the fourth game trap team where if you manage to beat him you can use a special trap to use him as an in-game character And that's, that's always fun. Oh, but god dang. Skylander's Spouse Adventure finally done. Man, alive that took a while. And I still have four more games to go. Plus, in about uh, three and a half months, the newest Skylander's game is going to drop. 
Skyland is Imaginator, so I can't wait to get to that. But, of course, I'm going to do the games in order to the best of my ability. I'm trying to get a whole bunch of new Skylanders for my collection, because I only have a few of Series 3 and 4 and about half of 2, and a fair amount of 5. But if I manage to get this collection of Skylanders that I'm looking at, I'll have most of Series 2 through 4. Plus what I already have, so that might actually be like a full set for some things. And that's gonna be amazing. If not though, I'll be filling in the gaps for what elements I'm missing for each of those with Skylanders from previous games. Until of course they reach the level cap and full upgrades and all that. Which will take longer because they up the level cap in later games. But for the time being, I don't think it'll be that difficult, because next up is game two, and if I get all the same XP bonuses that I did in this one for what I have collected, then it's going to be seriously easy to level up Skylanders super fast, at least to level 10. After that, it does get a bit difficult to get them up in level, but the level cap is only 15, so it won't take me that long to get them at full power. Oh, God. Oh, excuse me. I said this in a previous Skylanders video, I do night shift, so I stay up all night and record at like super early in the morning. It's like 7.15 right now and I've been up since 8 p.m. yesterday. So I'm not like, I, I, I don't even think I should be feeling tired, it's just that my body thinks it should be tired. Oh man, getting to see all the Skylanders like this is so awesome. Spyro! I can't wait to start in the next Skylanders game though. I'm waiting just a few days before I start recording it because I'm, besides getting those collect that collection of Skylanders I was just talking about, I'm also waiting for, uh, hopefully, for a package to arrive from my girlfriend Angel. She actually got me a couple Skylanders for my birthday about a month ago and is planning on mailing them to me. She was going to hand deliver them, but... Uh, she wasn't able to get, she wasn't able to visit me for my birthday like she was planning, so she's just gonna mail them now since I'm getting close, since I have finished game one. And they were figures specifically for game two. So hopefully those will be here soon. My main man, Trigger Happy! <laughs> oh man. I cannot wait to get to the next games, because every Skylander game improves on the old one. Skylanders Giants, the next one in the series, that is going to be so much fun. It has the least characters out of all the Skylanders games, but it introduces new mechanics and systems that just make the game a million times better. And they do that with every Skylander game. Ah, uh, wow. I can't believe I actually managed to finally beat this. I mean, it was... It wasn't exactly taking forever. I was doing three recordings a day. It's just, I... It's just so amazing to actually finish the games through my channel. Like, you... It, it's like the same sense you get actually beating the game whenever you're just playing it. But when you... When you beat it like I do... For the you know, for the channel, and with the difficulty ramped up, and doing all this other stuff just to make the game harder and be more entertaining, it, it kind of feels, you know, like a bigger accomplishment. Because if I would have been playing this normally, I would have been, uh... Let's see, what, what else? What would I have changed? 
I probably would have run through all the heroic challenges right away. Supercharge all my Skylander stats. That probably would have maxed out all their levels immediately. Plus giving them the heroic challenge bonuses. So I could have like sped through all those levels without even trying. And not lost a single Skylander. I would have added their hats. So that way whatever their weakest stat was it would have given a boost to that. And I have never actually played the Skylanders game purely single player except for like once. I played it like a dozen times. It's just I always play two players with somebody. Just so that way I just so that way I get like the extra boost from having an ally fight with me. Because having two people take on this game is a lot easier than just one. The Savior for 60G. Complete the adventure mode by finishing the game. My word! You've done it! You've actually done it! I knew you could! Wowzers, this might even make you almost as popular as me. Almost. <laughs> so much fun, extremely. You are a happy dancer. But can you make more happy? Do all Skylanders play with the highest upgrades? I can play this with you. Yep, I gotta admit it. You're pretty good. But are you good enough to beat all of my heroic challenges? When you feel up to it, come and see me. Hmm. Then maybe we'll both find out. Alright, and before I end this video, I have one final secret. Oh. And we're just gonna ignore that elemental tower. It's not important right now. Before I end this video, I have one final secret that everybody should see. Just gotta find it. I think Bash has this speed roll thing going for him. Let's see, where's the guy that I'm looking for? I think he might be over here. Hiding out with these turtles. Yep, there he is. Okay, so throughout the game, if you talk to this guy, he'll say, Come back and talk to me later. Watch what happens now that you beat the game. Aha! I see you follow the trail of money. Always a fine way to invite guests over. Boom! Uh, oh man, all the crap landed in the water. Hold on. Now get all this loot. That's right, that guy is freaking loaded. That's why he looks so fancy. He had all this cash on him the entire time. He's gotta beat the game to get it. Ugh. And now that that's over, that is the finale of Skylander Spiral's Adventure. Of course, it's not over yet. If I've been thinking about this, and I've been saying I was going to do it, but I want to know what everybody else thinks I should do for the heroic challenges. I do plan on running through them with all the Skylanders, but I want to know what everybody, if whether or not everybody wants to actually see that. Because each row challenge takes roughly maybe three minutes to beat, and there's about 32 of them. So that means every if I do a video for every Skylander playing every heroic challenge, that's going to be over 30 videos that are over an hour and a half long. So I want to know if everybody wants to see that. If not, then I might just post one video for each Skylander doing their own heroic challenge, or maybe... Just doing, you know, a few of the challenges just to see what they're like. Or I might not post them at all if y'all don't even care about it. And I'll just run through them, you know, in my spare time. Whatever y'all want to see, go ahead and tell me in the comments of this particular video. And I'll take that all into account as I consider what to do about the heroic challenges. Until then, though, 
Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I have had an amazing time playing this game, and I hope you did too. If you liked this video, please subscribe, and hope to see every last one of you in Skylanders Giants. Goodbye.